Good morning, you guys. We are about to check out of our room at the Yacht Club. And we had thought about getting up early, heading over to Epcot at 8 a.m. for the 8.30 early park entry to do Ratatouille. But then we thought, you know what? When do we ever have the chance to sleep in, no toddler, and just enjoy the morning? There's no rush. We've done Ratatouille before. You know, there'll be other trips we can experience it. Or who knows, if the line, you know, gets short today at some point, we can still do it. But that's how our morning is playing out. And it has been wonderful. It's almost 8.30 right now. And I think we're gonna head down and grab some breakfast down at the quick service. Um, here at the Yacht Club, and then we'll have our bags sent over to the Riviera. I'm so excited, you guys, and then we'll head over to Epcot. So it's just the perfect, perfect morning. I have loved being here at the Yacht Club. I love it. I think it's a very underrated resort. I think because there's no DVC section here, maybe it's overlooked and people tend to go over to the beach club more. It does feel a little more kid friendly over there, but if you're like us and you're coming for the weekend, you know, it's just you and your significant other, or even if it is your whole family, I don't know. I love this resort so much. So we're going to head down and grab some breakfast. All right. We have our breakfast and our coffee from the market at Ale and Compass at the Yacht Club. It took quite a while. Um, it was pretty crazy in there. <laughs> but how long would you say we waited <laughs> for coffee? 30 minutes. Probably. And then we were like, oh, she forgot our breakfast wrap. And she was like, oh no, like we don't make that. Like you can just go grab that in the like hot case, you know, just grab and go food. Yeah. And we were like, <laughs> we've waited <laughs> so it's long. It's not even hot to be honest. Really? Yeah. Um, well, I got some oatmeal and it's piping hot, so I'm waiting for it to cool down. We decided to come out here because it was so crazy in there. And we're gonna enjoy the view here, looking out at the water, at the boats going by. This is probably one of my favorite views in all of Disney World. I mean, this is the spot right here, wouldn't you say? It's pretty relaxing, pretty peaceful. It really is. And it feels so nice out right now. I mean, it's definitely warm, um, but it's still like, pretty cool in the morning and you know you got the breeze going it's really nice so we're gonna sit and enjoy our coffee enjoy the view and then make our way to Epcot putting it where my head is. Maybe you just need to grow. Because often it looks like this, but rarely does it look like this. Here we are, we made it. All right, well, it has been so fun seeing all the character meet and greets around Epcot. We've seen Aurora, Daisy. Have we seen anybody else yet? I don't, oh, and Belle. And I didn't see Belle. It was so sweet, oh my goodness. Parents are in tears. I talked to this one mom who was crying after her little girl ran up and hugged Daisy. It was so, so sweet to watch. And getting her autographs and, oh, it's just so sweet. So now we are just making our way around. I don't know. We have no plans today, um, other than, you know, heading over to the Riviera at some point later today. But um, it's about 10, 50. So we're just waiting on some of the booths to open and we can start eating and drinking. <laughs> That's why we're here, you know. That's why you come to Epcot. Yeah. So, but we also just ran into a lovely subscriber. She was so sweet. So it was really fun chatting with her. And yeah, that's about been our morning. Yeah. So super fun. First stop of the day is the citrus blossom. We got the pork belly and you got the honey cream ale and i got the key lime hibiscus ale and 
so far the drinks are so so good and yeah i'm gonna try the pork belly Classic Becca. If something's really good, it's the same response. Yep. Yeah. So what do we have going on? There's a lot going on here. Corn, this avocado cream, and then the pork belly is like coated in this, I don't know, like is it like a fresca, fresca cheese with plantain chips. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot going on yep. and it's amazing. was unbelievable. Wow, I just look like I'm like <laughs> very, very sweaty. <laughs> I don't know, my hair and my face just looks like I'm like, like Tell her really, she looks really like hot. a movie star when she puts her sunglasses up on her head like this. You know. Yeah. Anyway, no, but Voices of Liberty was incredible. We haven't seen them in how long? No, it was, it's been three years. Three years? We haven't seen them in three years. Yeah. So, it was amazing. I mean, better than we remember. I wish that they still hung out after the performance and talk with guests. That was one of my favorite things to talk to them afterwards. And now they just kind of head head out um, immediately after the show's done. But I mean, just incredible. There were moments where each of us got emotional. It's it's one of the best shows here. I mean at Disney. I don't know. It's one of our favorites. <laughs> we we love it. So so that's what we've been up to this afternoon. Yeah. And we might go back just to see if they do a different set. I know. We, we talked about times, doing so another show time because they do them every out. hour until five. So we just did the noon show so we can go back any hour until five o'clock. Yep. Um, but yeah and then I think we're just gonna keep walking around and you're still not hungry so <laughs> I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get more food. Okay, our next food stop is the, what is it called? The Jardin de Fiestas. We got the tacos. The vampire taco or taco vampiro. And you got the hypnotic margarita. Yep. And this taco is literally out of the world, like out of this world. Out of the world. It's not. Out of this world, out of the world. It is very, very good. Yeah. Yes. So we are leaving Epcot. We are going to head over to the Riviera. We're going to take the Skyliner. And I think we're just going to chill out for a little bit. But we did just get to meet Mary Poppins. It was cool. I can't remember the last time that I have done a character meet and greet. And especially now that I could, like, stand next to her and take a picture. And, you know, it was really, really fun. And I kind of missed it. So we did that. And then we decided, you know what, we've kind of eaten all the things that we wanted to eat at the Flower and Garden Festival. So I think we're good at Epcot. It's also starting to get pretty hot and we're kind of wearing down a little bit. So we're gonna head over and find our room and just kind of hang out for a little bit and then head back to Epcot later this evening. So yeah, yeah. I think that's it. We'll probably shoot a room tour video in the meantime. Oh yeah. All right, we made it to the Riviera. This is one of my favorite parts of Riviera. This breezeway is beautiful. Oh, wow, I already feel more relaxed. It's so beautiful here.
So now that we are all checked in and settled into our room, we've just been walking around this resort. It is uh, just unbelievable. I love walking around here and the fact that we're staying here just makes it even sweeter. So we thought, you know what, before we head back to Epcot, we'll stop over at Bariba because I've wanted to check out that area over here. And I think it's around the corner by the pool, I'm pretty sure. So that is where we're headed right now. We just wrapped it up at Bariba. We both got margaritas and their Parmesan fries which were amazing. It came with this garlic aioli sauce. And I really just needed something to tie me over until dinner. And it definitely hit the spot. It was really good. It was so, awesome. It's a really great spot. Bar Riva, I mean, it's a really, really good spot. Um, now we are gonna hop back on the Skyliner and go back to Epcot. And I think we'll probably just keep eating and drinking around the world <laughs> and that'll be our dinner for the night I did keep checking reservations just to see if there's anything you know anything last minute that pops up because sometimes you can find really good reservations like California Grill Yachtsman Steakhouse you know people cancel day of or day before and you never know what's gonna pop up and I did find a couple good ones I found one at Yachtsman and one at California Grill um, but we decided, you know, we kind of just want to stick at Epcot and keep trying more things at the booths. So, that's our plan. Yep. Alright, Becca handed me her phone and I just, I thought she wanted me to take a video. So this is me taking a video. Uh, we got the croissant with fromage. <laughs> is that how you say that? I have no goat idea. Goat cheese. Yeah, goat cheese. Fromage de goat. And uh, yeah, so here we are. What say you? Here we go. I have heard incredible things about this, so I'm pretty excited. Ooh, it's warm and flaky. Does it get the traditional Becca seal of approval? Holy cow. Do I have goat cheese all over my face? <laughs> yeah, it's all, all over your face. Wow. This is unbelievable. And I thought I would try a bite and be envious so I went ahead and I'm just glad got my you got own. your own because you would have we would have been back in line already yes this is unbelievable it's like that classic just fresh warm flaky croissant with the savory goat cheese that's great that's great that sounds fantastic herb, like, I just want to go ahead and take a bite okay go, ahead. go take a bite <laughs> <laughs> so not only did we just finish dinner at the Regal Eagle Smokehouse but now we are in Italy getting Andy a piece of pizza. <laughs> this is, at least in Tennessee, what we like to call second dinner. And it's when first dinner is sufficient. And so you gotta, you gotta pivot. Well, another thing is that this pizza window next to Via Napoli here is usually closed. I mean, at least the times that we've come it's in the past few years like every yeah. single time we've been it's been closed so when we yeah. saw today that it was open you know we just today had to the day, today's the day so yeah. here we go oh this is my cue to take a bite no I will. but good luck with that <laughs> hello how are you so my little girl's name is ellie rose she watches this show stories on our TV every day and she would love to say hello to you on the video if you could say hello back to her. Oh of course! <laughs> oh is she in she's right not right now but oh, okay. she's gonna watch it when we get home. So if you see Ellie Rose. That of would course. be amazing. <laughs> well hello Princess Ellie Rose. It's Queen Anna Mirandel. I'm really hoping that you can join me and Olaf on our next beach day. We can build sand castles and sand snowmen and Olaf can do his snow cone impression for you. He drinks pink lemonade and his whole body turns pink and he says, hey Anna, I'm a snow cone. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Princess Ellie Rose. <laughs>
Thank you. Well, hello. I'm so excited to see you today. Oh my goodness. So we were just talking about my little girl. Her name is Ellie Rose. Yeah. She's going to come with us this time, but she would love if you could say hello to her on video right now. Of course. Hello, Ellie Rose. I'm sending you lots of warm hugs from Arendelle. Thank you. You're very welcome. Can we get a picture? Courtney, you're so welcome. She watches all of your stories on, on TV every day. She asks to see Elsa, Elsa every single morning. So, <laughs> well, she's been studying her Arendelle history. Then. She has, yes. She can help a lot with his history lessons. Okay. Perfect. Now that he yes. can read, he's in school. Oh, oh okay. His history oh, okay. is not <laughs> But maybe she can help Yes, I'm sure she will. <laughs> Thank Bye. you so much. Bye, Ellie Rose. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, that sun is right, right there. But we just got done meeting on Anna and Ellie. Let's see how they look. Oh, they're so cute. We just got done meeting Anna and Elsa. Such a fun meet and greet. Oh my goodness, they were adorable. The whole thing from start to finish. Letting them say hello to Ellie Rose. I cannot wait to get home to show her this video. Ellie is gonna flip out. I mean, I just don't think she's gonna know what to do with herself. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited that we uh, did the meet and greet for that reason alone. I mean, it was just adorable so fun and I just love that character meet and greets are back to normal it's yeah it just brings back a lot a lot of the magic you know so now I think we are done <laughs> with food we are done. definitely done with food especially after that piece of pizza no, we won't talk about the pizza don't criticize me <laughs> so I want to make a loop through the creations gift shop you know you just always got to see what's what's new um, and then we'll probably just find a spot and hang out until the fireworks so that's our plan for the evening I was just telling Andy I love Epcot in the evening when the Sun starts setting it's really bright right now but like give it 30 minutes it is my favorite time of day at Epcot it's cooling off the breeze just everything about it I love it so this is going to be the perfect Epcot night. We made it back. back. <laughs> we made it back How's to the Riviera. <laughs> and Harmonious was amazing. I love Harmonious. Um, best show. I just, way better than Illuminations in my opinion. I love the music and there's more fireworks. It's just the best. So we're back at the Riviera. The Skyliner was, Easy. I mean, well, talking it's about a like, chilly, honestly. I'm not talking about the weather. I'm talking about like the line when the fireworks are done, you know, of course there's this mass exodus to the Skyliner. We beat some of the crowd because we watched the fireworks pretty close to the International Gateway. So the line wasn't super crazy when we got there, but I mean, that's what we expected the line to be pretty long. I would say it took us 15, 20 minutes. It moved pretty well once we were in To line. get there. Yeah, I mean, it really wasn't that bad. And you're the first stop, you know, coming back from Epcot. And we're back at the Riviera. I just... I love it, even here at nighttime. <sighs> yeah. So, we're gonna head up to our room, call it a night, and then tomorrow we are hanging out at the resorts. So no park day tomorrow, and that's our plan. So, yeah. It'll be interesting. I know, I'm excited. It'll be a really fun, chill day for us. So, that's it, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, the whole deal. So I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.